Hello everybody, Grace Two Blades, and we are checking out Train Sim World. So this is one that we had looked at earlier in the year. Recently, a big DLC came out called the Great Western Express, which brings us over to Britain so that we can deal with one of the busiest passenger railways around. Very cool. Before, we were looking at, like, hauling stuff and kind of moving cargo around, and now we have to deal with the time schedule and uh, chop chop style of people moving that goes around the Great Western Express. There was a couple of things in the original game as we played it. There was some optimization issues and stuff like that. I think it's definitely gotten better. They've continued to update the game, which I'm very happy about. I'm glad the developer didn't just kind of like leave it as it is. You can see over here, the Great Western Express brings to life the experience of driving a high-speed commuter passenger trains on one of Britain's busiest railways. Take control of the iconic Great Western Railways HST and command it to 125 miles an hour along the Great Western Main Line out of London's Paddington Main Line Station. So over here, if we go ahead and click on this, I did a couple of the tutorials. I actually wanted to do some scenarios with you guys because I thought it would be cool. I'll probably end up crashing something. I mean the train, not the game, although that might happen too. We have a couple of different options here for scenarios. As always, you can choose some of the different uh, just tasks to do as well, but I do like the scenarios. Over here, Christmas closures. It looks like there's snow in it. If there's snow in this, that would be fantastic. I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking at this wrong. It says it takes about 40 minutes to complete, which through the power of editing should turn out to be fantastic. It's January 1st, 8.55 a.m. It's the Christmas holidays and Network Rail has closed London Paddington as a part of the Crossrail construction program. Trains are being turned back at the Ealing Broadway. So let's go ahead and start this out over here. It's one of the things I do like about the game is it kind of takes you through things step by step. And the game is as systematically legit when it comes to trains as I've seen for the most part. I've had some train fanatics comment on the other train sim gameplay I did and they thought that it was pretty legit as well. So over here we have our narrator kind of telling us some things we've got. Our objective star of blue power over there. You can see now there's people and stuff like that in the game, which is quite sweet. We have this, I think this is a gentleman wearing his fantastic looking and highly trendy outfit over here. Women as well with what almost looks like a padded leather vest. Let us move onward as the world continues to move around us. So there's, you can see there's passengers inside all the trains. Sun starting to rise in the distance. And what is that? That a little bit of frost and snow I see on the railway? It is. That's actually really cool. Let us go over here and follow the different thingies as we do. I like this because it kind of shows you exactly what to do and where to go, which I appreciate. You get like little bits of currency or experience or whatever have you over time as you do this too. I don't know what the levels do. I just know they happen. So right now, wait for service. So part of the game is the legitimacy of having a timetable. That you have to deal with. You can see our time there on the bottom right hand corner. It's 8.56. So it looks like we are actually going to have to wait for one of the trains to pull in over here. Got the guy from Hitman walking by. Looking good, sir. I see you got that barcode removed on the back of your skull. Excellent. Actually, there is a huge line of people rolling up in here. I wonder how many differences there are in all the individuals. Very sophisticated woman over there. This guy's looking very trendy. Okay, excellent. I think that was a, a thinner Morpheus over there. Nope. With your local knowledge, the maneuver to Broadway should go smoothly. When you're ready, take control of the train. Your destination will be Ealing Broadway. I don't know how much my knowledge really helps. I mean, I did the tutorials and stuff like that, but it's still all gray over here. We'll see how good we can do. So it says climb aboard and sit down the driver's seat. Left click to operate some of the different thingies as we do. We can also go into the train often, but I don't know if it will allow me to right now. Actually, you know what? Hold on over here. I wonder if we can mess around slightly. Yes. There we are. On the train. Walking inside. We see there's people around here. If we wanted to, we could sit in the first class seat. Although I imagine that's going to uh, cause us to probably not get paid for the day. I should probably worry about doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Which is getting into the captain's chair. And can I close the door over here? Or does it close? There it is. Close the door. Sit down in the driver's seat. And wait for instructions. Train context menu. To bring up the doors menu, unlock and lock doors. Okay, very good. Unlock the carriage doors. So let's see over here. Unlock left, unlock right then perhaps? 
All right, so now it says load passengers. We can use the one, two, three, and I think eight keys to look around. The eight key is like a free cam. It allows us to move throughout the entirety of the board, kind of however we want, which is pretty slick. So if we, oh God, what did I just get caught inside of? Ah, I'm caught inside of like the, the freaking, uh, the breezeway or something like that over here. Can I get over this thing? There we go. Come on, everyone. Load on up. Load on up. I see there's I see there's one lady that's having a real issue getting inside the train over here. Actually, I can already tell. The camera doesn't want me to be in certain places. This lady is... <laughs> she's just dancing with the train. I don't know if maybe there's something in her way or she's just... She's very, very skeptical about my driving skills. Oh, let us open the door for her. <laughs> Here we go. The door was closed for some reason. That was probably when I was screwing around back there. Lock the carriage doors. All right. Let's go ahead and lock everything up over here. Confirm the guard signal. Now, luckily, it gives you pointers to what you're supposed to be doing. So let us sound the buzzer. I don't know if you're supposed to do it like one time, two times, or more. It never really went through that in the tutorial with me. Uh, two is the magic number. Set the reverser to forward. Okay. Let us do so. There we go. And like I said, you guys are going to have to let me know how systematically legit this is. Put this to running, which I think is all the way on the bottom. But the, the interior area seems to be pretty correct for the most part. Um, I mean, I, I definitely feel like this is this is fairly, fairly photographically accurate for the most part. I mean, all these buttons, too, are all pressable, which is so crazy. All these parking brakes and the LED testers and everything like that. In our in our other gameplay, just starting the engine up was a hell of a thing. Uh, if you remember, we had to, it was like a diesel style engine. A lot of these are diesel electric, but it was you know you had to you had to move all these levers and press all these buttons and make sure all the things were in the right area. Again, I am not a train driver. I'm just a guy that likes these games. I want to get the opportunity to show it to you guys unless you want to check it out and give it a whirl. I also am very curious whether or not the DLC, you know, adds like a huge amount of extra stuff to the game. Like I said, for the most part, the game looks great. Um, and it's definitely running smoother than it was before. Uh, before, we were lucky to get, you know, 25 to 35 FPS. Right now, we're running at a nice clear 60. So I am really happy about that. So it says, stop at the location. Which is good. We're going about 32 miles an hour over here. 33 miles an hour. We got 1.2 miles to go. Let's go ahead and check things out out here, man. Look at the snow. We got cars going on over here. We can actually look at our dude as he uh, nonchalantly kind of gazes around. We can move in and out with the arrow keys. Kind of like zoom in and out. That's my character. I don't really remember having the ability to give him gray hair. If I was able to give him gray hair, I most certainly would have done it. Again... The little blue, like, stars that you can see in the distance is our objectives. That's what we're going for right now. Now, I'm really curious. Does the sun continue to rise as the time goes on? And you guys over in Britain, you're going to have to let me know. 9 o'clock in the morning, January 1st. Is this right about where the sun would be for you guys? Just kind of starting to come up over the hill. Well, it's, it's fully crested over there, but just about right over there. I always wonder about stuff like that in, di in different games, how realistic the timeline is. So we're going 55 miles an hour. If we want to, we could even get out of this area, and I think we could go and see the passengers. Well, I don't want to... I hate to... I hate to think about what would happen if we jumped out of the train. Let's, uh, let's complete at least one of the scenarios, and then maybe we'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and sit back in the driver's seat. Now, I wonder if it's going to tell me when to start stopping. Uh, because I would really appreciate if it wasn't just all guesswork on my on my part. I mean, I can figure some of this out. You boys know, too. I do want to get this train up to 125 miles an hour. You can see the mile per hour goes up to 140 over there. I think it said one of the fastest it was ever clocked at was like 147. It was like in one of the little tidbits. In one of the little, like, cutscene informational areas, which was kind of cool. So, if we can get it that speed and we can uh, come flying into the station at 147 miles an hour, I certainly wouldn't mind. 70 miles an hour right now, coasting along, doing quite well, which is pretty sweet. We can probably even put our throttle at idle. Because I doubt we really need to go that much faster. Does that say 9.6 miles? 
Looks like it says 9.6 miles, boys. You know what that means. Oh, we're freaking doing it. Maximum throttle. I want to know what happens. I want to know how fast we can go. I want to know how quickly our timetable will do. At maximum throttle. How fast can this thing go? You can see there's a little red line there over on the bottom right hand side. I wonder if that's going to kind of show us our maximum speed. Gain speed slowly but surely, but we've got nine miles to go, so I have a feeling we're probably going to make it. Let's go check out the train right now. So we are doing 79 miles an hour right now. This is about how fast it's moving through the scenery. Uh, it's clocking pretty fast, actually. I wonder if we can check all of our, uh, all of our passengers out over here. There we go. We can see some of the passengers kind of lingering about. I wonder what happens if I unlock the camera. Will it just fly by? Yep, it just flies right on by. Holy crap. Can I even keep up with it? Not really. There it goes. Bye. 86 miles an hour. With the three button, we can lock on the train so the train doesn't, like, leave our, our uh, camera. And we can move around the train over here so we can see all the people. Can we get inside? Uh, we kind of just line up right against the window like this, it looks like. But yeah, it's pretty sweet that you can see all the people and stuff. It'd be cool if, like, they engaged in conversation and stuff like that. I know there was some questions about, like, the, uh, the AI for the people and how basic it was. But I'm just glad to have them. That's good, too. But yeah, I'd like to see maybe, like, some kids or something like that running around the cabin. Parents yelling at them to sit the hell down exasperatedly looking back on their choices in life, wondering why they ever, ever decided to have little bots in the first place. 6.9 miles, boys. We're getting there. Snowy ground as we are flying along it. I wonder how far underneath the train we can go. Ooh, that was weird. It was almost like the camera got hit by the train. That was interesting. Yeah, we're getting muscled by the train over here. Hold on. I want to get down by the rail. There we go. There's your pixelation, boys. <laughs> All right, 109 miles an hour right now. 109 miles an hour. I'm really struggling. Part of me wants to just fly into the station at like 125 miles an hour. And part of me wants to complete the scenario correctly. I guess we can always just back up unless there's other trains on the railway. Oh God, if there's other trains on the railway, I'm going to hate to see what happens. We're doing all kinds of crossings and stuff like that. I don't know if I should be utilizing my horn and stuff. Got climate control over here, boys. Let's go ahead and uh, bring the old climate control on. I want to make sure everyone is uh, feeling very comfortable back there. 121 miles an hour right now. If, if these guys were in a hurry, baby, we're getting them there. Headlights are on correctly. What do we got over here? Train supply, de-icer. Oh, a de-icer. Sure, why not? Is that on or off, I wonder? 126! I think we're in a 100 mile an hour zone because you can see the little guy over there is pretty pissed off at us right now. Oh, we're going 127 miles an hour. This is awesome. What's it like right now? Look at us speed through town! Oh, yeah, baby. This thing's like a friggin' bullet. Underneath all of the, underneath all of the, uh, the bridges. Past the countryside. There's another train right over there. We just went blasting past. And we are coming up really fast. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to go through at 129 miles an hour because I have to know what would happen. Uh, I think we're just going to blast right past. Yep, we just blasted right past. Okay. Uh, emergency break. That made me so sad. All it did was just end the scenario. We just blew past it. And then it was just like, oh, you failed. So I've got the throttle all the way back at max over here. So we're going to try and move as quickly as possible. We got 12 miles to go again. You got a bunch of different stuff. You, you can turn on the wipers and stuff like that. Like, it's pretty crazy. Oh, what happens if you do it on wash? Will water, like, legitimately spritz all over the windshield? I don't know if it works the same way as it does on my Dodge or what. You know what I mean? I've never had to. Uh, wipers parked. What's the difference between wipers parked and wipers off? Seems to be the exact same thing. Anyone feel free to let me know in the comments section. I'm always interested in learning more about what exactly the nomenclature means whenever we're utilizing the different stuff inside the train. Here we go. Found the horn. Yes. Oh. We have a we have two horns. We have a low horn, we have a high horn. Alright. 
What does it sound like on the outside? That's the sound? That's the sound of the horn? This is interesting. <laughs> I would figure it would sound like a lot louder. So what I'm gonna do is it wanted us at right around 100 miles an hour. So I'm gonna get us at about 100 miles an hour, then we're gonna throw it into idle so that we coast the rest of the way. I imagine that will save us uh, power and energy as well and make our employer very happy. Gotta keep the employer happy, you know how it is. I mean, I do want a job come tomorrow, so that'd be nice. As fun as it is running through things at 100 miles, uh, well, 129 miles an hour, whatever we did. All right, so 100 miles an hour. Let us go ahead and throw things into idle. There we go. You can see our amperage going down, and now we can lovingly coast along. And this thing will coast for a good long time with no big deal. And when we did the brakes, I'm trying to remember during the tutorial, it had me like apply the brakes very slowly. And whenever the whenever the the AI is driving the train, it always stops so majestically. Like it's always so beautiful. I always feel bad because I feel like my stopping is so whiplash inducing. Like people are getting migraines just from the fact that I'm stopping and or driving, which is probably pretty realistic. Wonder how far away we can go from the train. I'm very curious. So this is about how far on the locked camera it goes. So on the unlocked camera, when the train goes by, can we like go check these buildings out and stuff like that? Oh, wow. How far does this countryside go? Oh, you can sprint too. Oh, oh, wow. All right, well, let's take a look at some of the countryside here. I mean, the train's basically driving itself right now. So we can take a moment to look. Now, how realistic is this countryside? compared to the location that the train takes place in Iowa Wonder. Oh, you got some like enclosed patios over here. A little backyard area. We have some ice on the windows? We got some ice and sleet on the windows and stuff like that. That's pretty sweet. How far out can I, I mean, the board has to end. Like they can't have rendered everything, right? Okay, good. So eventually the board ends and we are treated with sweet, delicious. Can I go through this? Sweet, this is what, so this is what Britain has past its uh past its beautiful visage it has tile it has linoleum tile on the ground oh look at this look at this i found a car what's it doing what is it doing this isn't just train sim world anymore man this is like freaking like ultimate sim world we have one driver what what happened what happened? What, what, where are you going what happened it disappeared and it turned into a different car this is interesting this is a different car, isn't it? I'm almost certain this is a different car. It's like it, it like morphed into something else. Whoa, what the hell of a U-turn. I think this is it. We found the one AI driven car. All it does is do U-turns. That's pretty funny. All right, what, uh, what other sort of odd treasures can we find around here? How, how much further do I have to go toward our goal, by the way? Oh, I can't even see the goal from here. 5.3 miles. I ended up cranking the speed up. So with one and a half miles to go, I think we're going to go ahead and start throwing the old brake down. Because I have a feeling that we need to brake fairly early on. Realistically, I probably should have started braking, for the love of God, screw it, full service. I probably should have started braking a long time ago. Is there an emergency brake? Emergency brake on. Slow this thing down. Oh god, 900 yards, 800 yards, come on, 80 miles an hour, 76 miles an hour, oh, we're coming into the station quick, oh, we're coming into the station quick, 60, come on, baby, 50, come on, do it, do it long time, 40, okay, oh, I think we're gonna do it, I think we're gonna do it, Gray just had to throw it out, oh, take this off. Gray just had to throw down every piece of parking brake he ever had. And we're actually early. <laughs> objective complete? The objective? Oh. Is it legitimately complete? Did I? For real? I stopped like... Hold on a second over here. Oh, wow! I stopped like right at the station! Just about. How lucky is that? Okay. That's amazing. Let's go ahead and unlock our doors. There we go. I'm sure everyone is going to be very happy, very happy 
to get off of this r train ride from hell. Come on, everyone. Go ahead and unload out. Everyone out. Do I have to ring a buzzer or something? I feel like I should be ringing a buzzer or something. Maybe that'll help them out. I think there's a, I think there's like a, I think there's like a driver buzzer over here or something like that. Oh, there's so many buttons. There's so many buttons. There's a gauge dimmer for the love of God. Okay. I think everyone got in. They must have did it when I wasn't looking, but whatever. Somehow we've got, I guess, new individuals on the train. I'm really not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and lock the doors over here. Lock left door. Lock right door so people don't go flying out. Uh, we got to confirm the guard signal as we do. Oh, the driver's buzzer. There it is. One time, two times. Brakes to running. All right. Here we go. And now throttle only to notch one at once. All right. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be starting real slow here. We're gonna stop at Acton Yard, folks. Next stop, Acton Yard. You can see everyone just kind of lo lollygagging about over here. Let's go take a look. Wow, this is a uh, this is a busy friggin' terminal. Look at all these people over here, just kind of hanging out, sharing seats together. This guy's got his hands in his pockets because it's uh, particularly nippy outside as it is. Everyone over here wandering around to the... Now, how far will you guys wander, I wonder? I'm gonna watch you for a little bit. You can go up those stairs over there. Don't slip now! Don't want any freaking lawsuits going on because we didn't clear off the ice from the steps. Yeah, people are going toward the steps. Walking over here, I guess, uh... Going over to their housing units or whatever. Looking good! Alright, cool. 70 miles an hour, it looks like. Let's head back into our cab over here. We've got, uh, what is that, like one mile away? Looks like, yeah, 0.9 miles away. This is not very far at all. Like, we're legitimately just going right down the road. I don't even know if I want to bring up the throttle at all. I mean, I, I guess I could. Like, a little bit. I don't want to do it too much, though. You guys, you boys saw what happened before. We had to stop quick, man. But we're coming up here. All right. So let's, um... Let's go ahead and bring ourselves down to idle. We're at 40 miles an hour right now, so that should be plenty to get us there the rest of the way. And as a matter of fact, I think with, oh, 50 miles an hour, All right, we'll do some initial braking. Little bit of initial braking. We are uh, way faster than we should be right now. But I think we're gonna do okay. I don't think it's gonna yell at us too much. There we go, doing the different changeovers here. There we have it. 400 yards. 300 yards. I think I'm going to apply a little bit more braking power here. Here we go. And 200 yards. Man, you can you come in real slow into these stops. That's probably what I'm doing wrong all the time. Like, I, I always come into these stops way too fast. Go ahead and bring it up a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be... This is going to be nice and sweet. Look at this. 10 miles an hour as we roll. Oh, I don't want to go too slow. As we, like, barely roll. Oh, for the love of God. All right, hold on. Let me do, like, one throttle over here. Get us up to, like, three miles an hour. There we go. That's plenty. All right. 25 miles an hour. 16 yards. And... Throw it down, baby. Full service brakes. There we go. Give me my points. Give me my completion. Bam. Objective complete. Uh, all right. Close down the desk. Oh, master key. That's right. So set the reverser to engine off, right? As we do. Master key to locked. Here we go. What else? Headlights to tail lights. Okay. Over here, headlights to tail lights. Head over and climb aboard the power car at the other end. All right. Let's go ahead and get out of our seat here momentarily. Jump on down. And oh, this is quite a this is quite a walk over here. Oh, I wonder what happens if you get hit by a train. There's no other trains around though. I can't even get hit by anything. Are there people in here? There are. There's just random people, kind of. Well, the passengers or whatever have you. Passengers still kind of wandering on the inside over here. All right, let's go ahead and grab the power car at the other end. All right, here we are. Up to Daisy. Let's get. Oh, can I uh climb up steps? There we go. I knew there had to be a way. And sit in the driver's seat. All right, very good. 
Yeah, I thought it was pretty successful as well, lady. Tell you what, master key to unlocked. You got it. Boom. Gonna have to mess with the reverse raw bet. See how Gray's learned it a little bit. Not a lot. Just enough to kind of get things done. Okay, so headlights over here to day lamps and markers. Day headlamps, I should say. All right. To running. That's all the way at the bottom. And then throttle to notch one. Oh, above notch one. All right, so let's go to notch two. How about that? And then stop at the location. Oh, I'm just, am I just going back to where I was? I guess I am. Going back to where we were just on the other side. Boys know how it is. So, let's see over here. Sounds kind of squeaky. Do I have something on over here that I shouldn't have on? How's my pressure in the pipes? Pressure looks okay. 9.7 miles an hour. I don't know. It just sounds a little bit more rough than what we had been using before. If I look out here on the outside, uh, does everything look okay? Ooh. Check this out. Eh? I gotta tell you, the, dr the trains in this game look fantastic. Like, they look pretty legit. They look good. And like I said, if you want the full experience, hold on, I think we can turn off the heads-up display. There we go. Turn off the full heads-up display here, and we get the full look of the beautiful train. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and turn this back on over here. And then hop back inside the driver's seat, because I think we're going to be there pretty soon. A lot of graffiti over here, boys. This is what happens. All you need is one guy to start tagging the freaking uh, the freaking sidewalls over here, and all of a sudden everyone's doing it. 125 miles an hour cap over here. We definitely don't need to be doing that. We're going about 25. We're just going to roll in here nice and easy. Nice and easy. I've actually got the throttle to max, but I think it's because we're utilizing the power car over here, or just the other side or side, I don't know, something like that. It just seems uh, that we're moving a lot, a lot more languidly on this side. All right. So let's go ahead and throw it over here to idle. And we should start dropping speed fairly swiftly. Yeah, we're going to 26, 25. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be able to just coast right over here, 400 yards away. Very foggy this morning. Very foggy. Look at the mist. Look at that building over there. Looking pretty legit. Are there any people around? Oh, there's one, one individual kind of hanging around over there. And we are rolling up 60 some odd yards. And I think if we start throwing down a little bit of braking power, we should stop just in time. Just in time. There we go. Objective complete. What's next? We're, we're on a roll now, man. Unlock the doors. You got it. Unlock the left. Let's take a look. What we got going on? Ah. Another woman that doesn't know. She's like, eh, I saw what happened the last time. I don't know if I want to get involved in all this. All the doors are open. No one's really... How do we make our money? It's like we're not really taking anyone anywhere. Every once in a while, like, one guy or girl gets on. Oh, God, what just happened to the camera? Every once in a while, like, one guy or girl gets on. Everyone's over on this side. This is where we should be. Look at all this going on over here. Look at how busy it is. On the, on the Gray Express, everyone's like, that's all right. I, I'll, I'll just wait for the next, uh, the next engineer. I, I, think, I think that would be a better idea. Yeah, we will screw you. Got one lady. All right. Lock the carriage doors. Very good. And then stop at location. Oh, isn't that where we came from? I feel like that's where we came from. All right, man. Got all our stuff off. Train brakes are off. Throttle. Jack it up all the way. I don't like no slow... I don't like no slow starts. We're gonna we're gonna power this all the way to the end. Just moving along at a nice brisk pace. You guys know, almost 9:30 in the morning over here. The beautiful sterile-looking white snow on the sideway. You can see all the reflection of the glorious Britain, British landscape, the Britain landscape. Them Britons and their landscaping over here, where we used to be. Can I? Can I like? move into this? Oh, the door's locked. Oh, I've... Somehow I got into the cab. That was interesting. I, like, levitated my way into the cab. Hold on, can I do this again? Let me see here. I managed to get in the first time. I don't know how I did it. I, like, unlocked the door, and I, I somehow skipped past... Hold on. Let me in! Let me in! Alright, I guess it's locked and I can't get in. Oh, well. Just coasting along over here. 63 miles an hour. Third... 
throttle notch, whatever you want to call it. No big deal. Kind of wandering around. You can see my guy uh, looking around, just kind of swiveling his head back and forth, making it look like he's doing a good job, as he does. All right, 1.8 miles. I'm going to go ahead and bring things all the way down. I don't need to get any more speed. If there's something I learned before, but when you get to, well, you should probably start doing it way before one and a half miles, but I've been doing it one and a half miles. Go ahead with the initial braking over here. There we go. We can see the air pi uh, brake pipe starting to go up a little bit. In the tutorial, it said that five was your, your empty. It, it always said, bring it back to five. And that meant that the brakes were ready to go. So over here, down to about 46 miles an hour, 45, 44. It also said that if you used the initial, the brake would do the rest. But I think the issue is, is that you have to know like exactly when to start braking. So I'm giving this my best shot. I started braking at right about 1.6, 1.7 miles at 60 some odd miles an hour in the initial variant. And yeah, you can tell we are slowing down real good now. 26 miles an hour, 25. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to turn it off. It should release the brakes. There we go. It's cool because we don't have to do a lot of the braking stuff. These, these, these brakes on this particular plane, on this particular plane, oh my god. This particular train does it all for us. Now over here we have a cool little, like a very residential area up ahead over here. Actually we have 0.8 miles to go. We're only going 15 miles an hour. I feel like I want to, uh, hold on, let me, let me put a little bit of throttle up so I can get us there. Yeah, we easily could have stopped that with less than a mile at 65 miles an hour or 63, whatever we were at. 216 yards, or 260 yards, I should say. Let's go ahead and bring our braking to initial. And that should, I mean, we should easily roll in. I could actually probably take this off and just bring it to running. And right at about 100 yards, I would say, actually, it's totally possible that we're legitimately just going to coast right into where we need to be. Like, I'm going 10 miles an hour right now. 60 yards left. Yeah, we could probably start using it right about... Come on, get down to about 20 yards. Yeah, right about here. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Four. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Look at this. Look at this. Five. Four. Oh, so close. Objective complete. What do you want now? Unlock the carriage doors. Fine. I've unlocked and locked so many ca- How many passengers do we have to pick up and take, man? I've been picking up and unloading passengers all day. What does it take over here? Man. Let's check our, uh, oh. It's a train next to a train. You zombies coming or going? Look at him just look longingly through the window. He's like, you know, I've always wanted to get on a train. But not today. Get on the train already, people. I have time for this crap. I can open and close these doors at a whim, as I choose. All right. Objective complete. Close all the doors. Oh, did I win? Did we do it? Oh, I've got to back up. I'll walk to the exit to complete the scenario. Do I have to turn this off or do I just leave it on for the next guy? I probably just leave it on for the next guy. It's not really telling me to do anything. And there we go, folks. Another day goes by making stacks of cash for Britain. And a little bit for ourselves as well. Excuse me, madam. Oh, God, she's like a brick house. I can't get past these people. They're like freaking NFL players. Out of the way. 70 yards to go. And when you complete this, you get like uh, experience and stuff like that. Like you go up in level and everything. I wonder where this is going to take us. All right, over here. Oh, we, we won. We did it. Yes, Christmas closures. Took us 46 minutes, actually. And there goes all of my different chunks of experience flowing into the chart of nothingness. I don't know what it means or what it does. Anyway, guys, that's just a little glimpse of the Great Western Express. I think this is a pretty cool, this is a pretty cool DLC. Like I said, going from hauling stuff to hauling people, I've just, like... One of my favorite hauling games was always uh, American Truck Simulator. 
So like in my head, I constantly compare this to that and I'm used to like having to attach something, getting money, building up, building up the money and stuff like that for a reason. I think it would be cool if there was something and I, and I may be missing it. You know, it, it's, it's totally possible that it has all that. And I'm just missing it. But I feel like it'd be cool if I was working towards something like I knew what all this meant. <laughs> and that helped me out. 27 miles driven, folks. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Train Sim World. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.